in ananda sutram defines dharma as bruhareshana pranirananca dharma that is having intense desire and and putting such such uh, su- uh, sustainable effort to move towards the bruh satta or infinite entity is called dharma this is our ananda sutram's definition and <coughs> we all know that this dharma is three types one is vastu dharma second is jaiva dharma third is manava dharma or bhagavata dharma vastu dharma means every object will have certain uh dharma or ca- its own character state suppose so water will flow always down uh, downwards and uh, <coughs> fire burns so this is vastu dharma next is jaiva dharma we have ahara nidra bhaya maituna that is food uh, sleep fear and uh, repose capacity these four are common in human beings as well as uh, the animals so what is that uh, that uh, what is the characteristic that uh, differentiate between uh, other jivas with human being there is one good shloka in uh, uh, bhagavatam that is ahara nidra bhayamai tunancha samanya metat pashubhi naranam dharmo hi tesham adiko vishesha dharmena hi nam pashubhi samanam if if you don't have bhagavata dharma or manava dharma then you are as good as pashu because jaiva dharma even animals also have those four qualities that uh, special char- characteristic that uh, differentiate between us and other living beings is that is bhagavata dharma or manava dharma which has got four qualities that is vistara that is expansion rasa that is uniting our unit flow with the cosmic flow and seva a uh, unilateral uh, no service and uh, tadasthiti becoming one with that entity these four qualities comes under bhagavata dharma now let us see what is religion religion is nothing but a, a system of faith with a set of beliefs and uh, a sacred scripture of their own and a profounder the what is the difference between this religion and dharma dharma always unites various religion divides in history if you see particularly medieval age the crusades took place and uh, lakhs and lakhs of people have been uh, no killed because of the you no know, war between different uh, faiths so dharma saves the life that's why we call dharma rakshati rakshita and religion causes blood shed religions are many but dharma is one for all religion is based on dogma and dharma is based, based uh, is dogma free religion because believes that our prophet is only the real lo- real and lost prophet and we will go to the heaven others will go to the hell and our scripture is only the sacred scripture like that no they belittle others and uh, they even no they show lot of intolerance the hitabhavana is lacking and we should uh, understand here that ways where dharma sa nayatra na satyam asti where there is no satya or hitabhavana there cannot be dharma also that's why religion can never become dharma because dharma is much superior than religion because hitabhavana is always involved in dharma that's why dharma is different and religion is different dharma is much bigger and it will not cause any trouble to other human beings as uh, rajendra dada rightly said it is a psycho spiritual because kama is physical artha is uh, psychic and dharma is psycho spiritual and moksha is purely spiritual so <coughs> this is how no dharma no is different from this and what many people call as sanatana dharma is nothing but manava dharma or bhagavata dharma it is not at all a religion it is sanatana because dharma exists right from the beginning because and uh, that's why uh, we call it as sanatana dharma because recently in one shivakti i was uh, reading uh, ed dayal uh, tumar rakam hoja bhar oh god it is difficult to understand your ways 
शेषर पर शुरू आचे ही बुझे सार मीन इवन आफ्टर द एंडिंग वी फाइंड बिगिनिंग सो इट इज दट इन दट से धर्म इज कॉल एज सनातन धर्म दट सनातन धर्म शुड नाट बी कंफ्यूज विथ रिलीजन एंड मानवत धर्म भागवत धर्म और सनातन धर्म इज वन नाइट सेम एंड इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम रिलीजन दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच गौतम प्रधान जी आप अनम्यूट करके बात कर नमस्कार दादा नमस्कार सभी को आज के टॉपिक में जैसे आपने बोला धर्म रिलीजन और सनातन धर्म धर्म के बारे में अभी दादा जैसे बता रहे थे बहुत सारा चीज बताए दादा मैं सुनाई दे रहा मेरा आवाज हाँ जी आ रहा है हाँ तो धर्म शब्द की प्रति दृढ़ धातु से हुई तो जिसका छोटा धारण करना अगर वर्ड के हिसाब से जाएंगे तो धर्म धर्म क्या है वट इज धर्म धर्म इज नेचर धर्म जो है गुण धर्म और क्वालिटी प्रॉपर्टी के बारे में कहा जैसे आस्तक प्लस विनाश आसियन मतलब उसको आसियन का प्रॉपर्टी क्या है जलाना हार्डस प्लस विनाश बिझाना तो जो जिसका नेचर है उसका प्रॉपर्टी है अगर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड के हिसाब से देखेंगे तो वो उसका गुण धर्म को ही हम लोग धर्म के रूप में लेते हैं अभी दादा बता रहे थे भगवत धर्म तो अभी एक चीज बताए रिलीजन रिलीजन जो है धर्म नहीं है रिलीजन धर्म मत है इस मत के अनुसार जाएंगे तो वो अपना अपना फिलोसफी लेकर चलते हैं लेकिन धर्म जो है एक पॉलिस्टिक अप्रोच को लेते हुए सबको बोलते हैं अब मनुष्य लिपि के अगर इसमें बारे में बात करें सनातन धर्म के बारे में जहाँ तक है मनुष्य लिपि छह बचत ज्ञान के उसमें लिखा है धर्म के लक्षण श्री क्षमा दमो स्वयं शौचम इंद्रिय अनुग्रह दृ विद्या सत्यम क्रोधो दशकम धर्म लक्षणम यानी धर्म के दस जो लक्षण बताए हैं धैर्य क्षमा संयम अस्थिर पवित्रता इंद्रिय नियंत्रण बुद्धि ज्ञान सत्य क्रोध न करना ये सब धर्म के पाठ हैं तो दादा जैसे बता रहे हैं भगवत धर्म के जो चार प्रॉपर्टीज हैं जिस चार सेवा दल स्थिति ये तो बहुत अच्छे से उन्होंने दादा ने बता दिया और जहाँ एक सनातन धर्म की बात करेंगे तो यहाँ पर सनातन धर्म सीधा सीधा संबंध यहाँ पर मानव धर्म से यहाँ पर बोला जा रहा है कि ये जो इसमें जो दस प्रॉपर्टी है वो भी आए और भगवत धर्म के जो चारों प्रॉपर्टी को बताए जो चार सेवा सद स्थिति ये तमाम चीजें आएंगी लेकिन वर्तमान समय के परिप्रेक्ष में हो क्या रहा है धर्म को कुल मिला करके मजहब के ही कॉन्टेक्स्ट में या किसी फिलोसफी को किसी के एक धर्म मत मान एक माता लंबी लोग अपने धर्म के परिभाषा को विकृत कर दी हैं आज धर्म से दूर भागने के कारण क्या हो रहा है कि धर्म की परिभाषा को विकृत की जा रही है इसलिए लोग धर्म से दूर भाग रहे हैं तो वास्तव में धर्म को साइंटिफिक ढंग से आज बताने की जरूरत है जैसे बाबा ने बताया है ना तो ये चीज श्री आनंद मूर्ति जी ने बताया अभी दादा बता रहे थे कि धर्म के जो सूत्र के बारे में बताया तो ये सब चीजें ऐसा है कि रिलीजन धर्म से अलग है और सनातन धर्म ही वास्तव में मनुष्य का धर्म है धर्म अपने आप में प्रत्येक जीव जंतु को अपना धर्म होगा रिलीजन धर्म से अलग होता है जो डिग्री अगर डिग्री की बात करेंगे तो धर्म इज सो फॉर सुपीरियर देन रिलीजन और जहां तक सनातन धर्म की बात है सनातन धर्म का सीधा सीधा संबंध मानव जाति से है यहाँ मानव जाति की जैसे जैसे दस लक्षण को बताए या तो धर्म भगवत धर्म के बारे में जो बताया बताए विस्तार रस सेवा तब स्थिति तो ये सब चीजें हमारे सनातन धर्म में आएंगी बस मुझे दादा इतना ही बोलना थैंक यू गौतम जी बहुत अच्छा आपने बोला कि आजकल लोग जो हैं दे आर लूजली कनेक्टिंग धर्म एंड रिलीजन टूगेदर and it's one and the same thing almost people are considering but that is not there and that is why this session has been kept specially so anybody else would like to take i mean bring their views forward please yes surendra ji you can unmute and speak thank you yeah some more dimension has been started, what do you call that? uh open saying that there is a lot of misconstruing things misrepresentation of things there is a lot of confusion being created by vested interests and people in trying to mislead people mislead about the the true nature of things the true things which have been yes we are able to define correctly we are able to explain the concepts correctly but unfortunately in the masses unfortunately among the people especially in india where a lot of uh, we are uh, going through a kind of a vision era uh the vision era uh, is using are the capitalists are using religion as a tool ab bolte na ke karl marx ne bola ke 
रिलीजन इज ओपियम विद मासिस तो गलत नहीं है आज भी एक रिलीजन इज बीइंग यूज एज ओपियम टू कीप द पीपल लाइक टू लल देम इनटू स्लीप लल देम इनटू फॉरगेट अबाउट द एक्सप्लोइटेशन गोइंग ऑन अराउंड देम इन वेरियस स्फीयर्स ऑफ लाइफ इन एजुकेशनल सॉरी साइकोलॉजिकल फिजिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक सोशल and spiritual exploit so this is all uh, what we call see uh, nowadays the world is like this if something uh, attracts attention has they say they call it traction traction means it is a dumb act kisi word mein kuch dumb dikhta hai to usko kaisa utilize karne ke bare mein sochte hain for example you used to use the word nowadays they add for everything a smart the word called smart smart the smart that smart that one example second example i'll give you, give is nowadays uh, green word bahut chal raha hai you call yourself green pen you call uh, your products as green green biscuits green chai green this green that green building huh? a green uh, vehicle green uh, like that so people want to exploit any attractive label labels now they see when they see even the names and they see these are words are now today uh, exploited with the word has got some traction we call it traction yeah the moment there is some traction in it they use it somebody will tell self reliance word okay self reliance is a traction a word chalo shuru ho jao everybody see the day in and day day out they work only for making people dependent not the self reliant but they'll they'll, they'll talk about empowerment they'll talk about independence self reliant so this is the uh, because uh, rajesh sir dada ne bola hai ke how many in how many ways people are being fooled in how many ways people are being ramit karte hain logo ko so ye ek alag study hona chahiye ke how many in how many ways people are cheated in how many ways people are exploited how many ways people are misled how many ways they are kept ignorant don't you know because if you have knowledge then you will rebel against many things that are going on so they want to keep people also ignorant and how to keep them confused so they have got a media crores of rupees thousands of crores of rupees are used in uh, social media in mainstream media in all these things to what do you call to spread hatred to spread division to spread confusion to spread ignorance and ritual what do you call dogmas na no? all the dogmas no? the, the dogmas have a strong life today they are invigorated every other day they invigorate these dogmas that are they are going on they say yeah see this animal is very sacred okay fine what about all other animals you mean to say other animals are not sacred they are also sacred every atom and every molecule in the universe is sacred divine ye baat to kahi hai hamare upanishad mein mar ye baat to sunne mein nahi aata hai log bolte hain ye other community ka ye chandal hai inko the arjan hai aur hum alag hai wo alag hai ye alag hai so inequality is equated equal people are uh, made unequal huh? uh, they create equality who are unequal huh? because uh, even if you want to make uh, unequal uh, inequality ko agar equal batate hain wo bhi exploitation yes tada we understood that dharma is being misused uh, mis- it is, is now ye duniya mein abhi main problem so, the challenge that upi if has got is how to bring clarity yes that is what we are Clar- doing. clarity is power yes we are today inundated flooded by false propaganda false ideology so, false so ideas you, you come next then let us uh, have a time limit tada thank you so much and you rightly said that vested interest is there but i will mention one more thing there is ignorance also is there people do not know what is the difference in religion and that is what people are being used because of their ignorance now i re- request chaitanya dev ji to <coughs> speak on the subject because he, he has raised hand uh, namaskar everyone namaskar dada ji namaskar 
the topic is uh, what is dharma and wh- what is the difference between dharma and religion and uh, in the present context the usage of the term sanatan dharma how how it is uh, being used and how everybody is saying uh, that they are followers of sanatan dharma in the popular discourse also um, th- this topic has been introduced in uh, this open forum by a discussion where in uh, you know the proposal was put forward by saying that you know uh, it is a popular term which has gained traction uh, the last speaker uh, used this uh, term uh, that it has gained traction now it is it has gained traction uh, but the 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 basic understanding for the people who are using this is uh, only on the temporal basis baba said that everything has to be tested on the time place and personal basis but this uh, this term which has uh, been gaining traction that we are the followers of sanatan dharma and uh, because we are, we are, we have been from the very beginning of time and we are still going and all the other so called religions have come after us and that is why we are the sanatan dharma so this has been understood in the wrong context and it has been propagated in the it, it is being propagated in the wrong context as well to uh, uh, you know um, as the term has gained traction and to attain certain amount of superiority uh, in term they have put themselves on a, on a pedestal without looking at their uh, you know uh, own conduct or without looking at um, how they are trying to perpetrate conduct uh, to uh, those people who are following this popular uh, word so uh, obviously uh, dharma is something uh, which is which does not uh, change and uh, like the last uh, few speakers who spoke, uh, spoke about it uh, dharma is something which is uh, sanatan itself sanatan and uh, it uh, dharma's characteristic is that it is sanatan sanatan is something which does not change and it does not change according to time place and person so it should not uh, undergo any change uh, it the basic characteristics remains the same but if uh, you are saying uh, that 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 which does not go uh, undergo change may be orthodox uh, orthodoxical as well so sanatan is something which which requires change but you know uh, it is not as uh, only temporal it is not only personal and it is not only uh, you know uh, <laughs> from, uh, you know location so it's like that so sanatan the word is used uh, popularly in the wrong context so i would request next few learned speakers to you know if they understand the word sanatan uh, and let's put this into perspective thank you thank you very much i request dilip dada ji to speak on the subject please namaskar to everyone dada <coughs> when this topic was uh, discussed in the previous uh, discussions mm-hmm. uh, it was proposed <clears throat> to have a wide understanding of sanatan dharma because of one reason nowadays most of the uh, religions and in particular uh, hindus they are uh, they saying themselves they are as a sanatan hmm. okay, we are following sanatan dharma we are sanatan dharmi uh, these are the words that are being used by them so <clears throat> i find that ananda marg is Oh, is more sanatan than what they claim for themselves so that was the uh, basic thing that we thought of uh, having this uh, topic in our discussion and uh, the previous speaker ready the govardhan ji and uh, everyone has uh, given a very right explanation of it but the point is how to make people aware of the sanatan dharma even now some of the muslim scholars i have seen in the social media they have started calling hindu as a sanatan dharma and they use the word sanatan dharma uh, but uh, <clears throat> it has a very wide uh, implications if they start using sanatan sanatan in place of hindu uh, dharma so uh, it becomes all the rituals of hindus they are not dogmatic the implication is when the hindu uh, or hindu uh, <coughs> religions and because we have number of sects uh, there are so many mathadis sankracharyas uh, of different uh, seeds 
and uh, new new uh, baba da have also come in the market like bageshwar dham dada baba which is now very famous now he also calls uh, himself as a sanatan dharmi then <coughs> if uh, all are sanatani yeah then uh, we have to distinguish ourselves and uh, how to reach in a market market in the sense in the society in the among the people uh, to make them understand ki what is natan that is the job i think uh, we must take forward uh, in different channels through different mediums uh, to make people aware that is the basic job uh, which upif must undertake and uh, we have to make it um, clear to our people as well as to the uh, general masses masses whether uh, it's a hindu or sikhs or so many other sects which we have in hinduism like jainis and uh, buddhist and uh, arya samajis there are so many <coughs> so the point is uh, what should be our approach Uh, to make people aware of sanatan dharma uh, and for what it stands and uh, how uh, what the rituals which uh, otherwise being observed by the people those who, who call themselves uh, as a sanatan is not it actually not a uh, sanatan uh, characteristics so that is the basic point <coughs> so that was my point i think Let let the discussion be on this line. That how we we should make people aware of it. Okay, thank you, Dada. So uh, what is coming to my mind is see, uh, almost if you go through the uh, in context of Sanatan Dharma, almost there are nine full fledged discourse of uh, modern scientists. You can say. on on uh, dharma that is sri sri anand murthy ji and these nine discourses if people take it to the public their understanding will be very 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 clear very clear so if you allow me i'll 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 make a very small uh, as baba is saying at one place about uh, different dharmas for example plant follow plant dharma there is something very specific that's why i'm quoting this Now he says that plant follows plant dharma, animals follow animal dharma. Thus, plants and animals follow their own particular dharma, and that is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong in this. Tiger may attack and kill a human being, but this is not their fault. However, if human being consume beef, then they are following animal dharma. Human beings have to follow their own dharma. The speciality of human being is rationality. here it is coming and because of this rationality there are four aspects of human dharma that is what has been explained in um, previous uh, lectures human beings move ahead through these four aspects uh, and thus there are three dharma plant dharma animal dharma and human dharma then he is explaining another name of human dharma is bhagavad dharma and bhagavad dharma contains no division here is the beauty bhagavad dharma contains no division like the division between hindus and muslims so this dharma is for all human beings it makes no distinction based on isms it is for the entire humanity that is why we raise the slogan mano mano ek hai mano ka dharm ek hai that is all human are one and the dharma of human is one and this dharma alone is adi dharma the adi means at the same it is there is no beginning and there is no end of it and then same is baba is saying that the same is sanatan dharma and that is eternal dharma so bhagavad dharma has a four aspects again which has been explained so this is the human dharma which contains entire human race as i told at the very beginning the dharma of a matter for example i give an example of water 
is the same constitutes anywhere across the world. Similarly, human anywhere. So all are included and the dharma, as my previous speaker told, that it doesn't change with time, place and person. Then only it will be told as a sanatan dharma. This is eternal dharma. So that way many things are there. Anybody please, uh, can you raise your hand and speak? Yeah, many are there. Dada, can I speak? Yes, because you are coming first time. Yes, Agrawal Dada, please speak on. Dada, yes, I was uh, very carefully and patiently hearing to the learned speaker. Mm-hmm. And what they all said about dharma. Yes. Nothing is left about it. it. But uh, let us uh, analyze when we are talking of dharma. We should understand what is a dharma. Because without understanding a dharma, how can we differentiate between dharma and a dharma? दादा आपकी वॉइस कट रही थोड़ा ध्यान से हां मरा मरा वाला ना कर देयर इज लॉट ऑफ समबडी दोस वर नॉट स्पीकिंग कैन चैतन्य जी इफ दे आर प्लीज म्यूट अदर्स नाउ आई हैव मेड यू कोहोस्ट कैन यू अशोक कुमार जी इज या mute them who was not speaking yes dada please continue thank you ah uh, so dada actually we should understand what is a dharma because then only we can differentiate between dharma and a dharma we were talking about manav dharma yes dada please agarwal ji now boliye mute kar diya gaya yes ha ha so what uh, so one should and also understand what is a dharma hmm uh, uh, nice approach yes There is a shlok in Bhagavad Gita. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhi tanam dharmasya tadat manam chitamala. That is Lord Krishna says that jab jab dharm ki hani hoti hai, jab jab papa char badhta hai, to main srijit hota hu aur dharm ki sirakya ke liye main apne ko srijit karta hu. To ye dharm adharm kya hai? What is adharm? Hmm. The Baba has also explained it in Anand Vachanamritam in one of his speeches. Uh, uh, the very first shloka of Mahabharat: Dharm Shetre Kuru Shetre Samvita Yuyut Sava Mamka Pandavascha Kima Kuru Vachanamritam. That is the Dharm Shetre and Kuru Shetre. Both are within our body, as Baba says in Anand Vachanamritam. that the five chakras are the five pandavas and the hundred propensities are there within us at a continuous fight between the dharma and adharma those propensities and the pandavas are going within ourselves and when the when these the propensities overpowers the five chakras we are driven towards the propensities it is the adharmic path and therefore we have to restrain it and we have to overpower those propensities then only we will be following the path of dharma good so so, so between because uh, just a flash came in my mind that's why i was not very much prepared tada to <laughs> speak on this subject so when this day i immediately this flashed in my mind and i want to know from the learned speakers that uh, what they have how could they differentiate between dharma and adharma in this open session thank you dada very nice you have brought in a very scientific way that how propensities by controlling the propensity we move towards dharma path of dharma thank you dada pranav dev ji from odisha <laughs> yes namaste namaskar to all of you Dada, I have made a little research, and <laughs> according to my research, yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, speak on religion. Mm-hmm. Religion, the uh, this word comes from the. It has its roots from Latin, Latin yeah. word. That is religare, r e l i g a r e. Religare means reunion. They are saying that it is reunion. Once. 
the uh, the shiva jiva they are now separated again they will be you know reunited that is uh, reunion and uh, so many religions are there as we all aware about that there is hindu hindu hinduism christian buddhism jews muslims all have their own uh, doctrine faith and uh, religious practices they have they are they are having their own uh, separate uh, way of life believe in uh, some doctrines and faith and uh, practices and now dharma dharma means characteristic uh, quality property like water is, the dharma of water is to you know provide you know uh, uh, coolness it will it will cool you so and the dharma of uh, fire is to burn uh, likewise uh, the the dharma of human being is to love to care to have compassion for others to serve others loyalty honesty all those these qualities which is embedded in humanity in human being that is dharma this is the quality of human being this is the dharma of human being. this is eternal we cannot uh, separate it dharma itself is eternal that property is there now when a, when we depart from this quality then we uh, we you know relegate ourselves to animal qualities animal dharma so uh, dharma is uh, that our quality our Uh, our uh, characteristic our nature that is uh, dharma of human being so this is religion uh, i have explained religion and also some throw some light on dharma to my mind this is the difference and uh, sanatan dharma all the religious religious practices and this religion all those things have come from one source that is that sanatan dharma we are saying that is the dharma that is eternal from that they have uh, taken all those they are they have uh, you know uh, they have uh, their faith really belief and practices they have taken from that uh, uh, inspiration from eternal dharma sanatan dharma right this is thank you uh, this my take on religion and dharma sanatan dharma thank you dada please uh, be there to continue further discussion yes yes i am ji you yes. want to say something further surendra ji no you are muted please unmute dada please unmute ah yeah Ah, well, last time I was speaking about uh, that clarity is very important. Mm-hmm. So how uh, how we can contribute to clarity? So I was thinking that the the definition of uh, disturbance, disturbance. Yes, Just wait, wait. Who is this Ashok Kumar? Ashok Kumar ji, kindly. आप अपने को म्यूट रखें ओके okay, बार बार हमको म्यूट करना पड़ रहा है यदि आपको बात करना है हैंड रेज योर हैंड एंड यू कैन स्पीक यू आर वेलकम यस दादा कंटिन्यू सो हाउ टू ब्रिंग क्लैरिटी दैट इज अ पॉइंट सो वी हैव टू यूज द काइंड ऑफ प्रिसाइज वर्ड्स एंड प्रिसाइज लैंग्वेज प्रिसाइज टर्म्स हैव टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इनटू दैट हाउ व्हाट यू कॉल आवर डिस्कोर्सेस इंटरेक्शंस सो बेसिकली व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज दैट the sanatan word has got two meaning one is eternal we say yeah it is eternal that is beyond uh, past is time division of present past and future so it is universal kind of stuff second meaning is that sanatan means old very old ancient and kind of so the this is becomes a little word with uh, two connotations so what is wondering was Uh, what our uh, God and Dada said about uh, dharma being uh, vastu dharma, then uh, what we call uh, 
ఇండివిజువల్ జీవాత్మ అండ్ పరమాత్మ ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ భాగవత్ ధర్మ yes then secondly baba is this is very clear the basis for uh, our proud social philosophy is neo humanism mm. navya mata yeah so when it, when it comes to um, social philosophy we say navya manavata vad see which also is explained by baba newly explained in fact he uses the word uh, what is neo humanism he says neo humanism is humanism newly explained and uh, goes on to say that every atom and molecule in this universe is a part of the mental projection or macrocosmic mind it is an internal to the macrocosmic mind. macrocosmic mind yeah, yeah. that is ah uh, is a pro- so projection is a external projection from the so this sadguru brahma is nothing but uh, entirely brahma which is transformed or uh, mutated or purified and become a sadguru brahma or what one of the influence of prakriti right so what i believe is that when we are talking about social philosophy we have to say that our basis is neo humanism neo humanism real we say that everything in the universe from atom to molecule any our universe entire universe is nothing but the progeny uh, progenitor a single progenitor so hence there cannot be any inequality between humans uh, in the society even plants and animals also have this same kind of their place is there in the universe then when it comes to religion spirituality and all these things the best way of why it is controversy is that that we believe in bhagavad dharma bhagavad mm-hmm. see because it is very clear bhagavad dharma is very clear it is already mc our uh, goranda the beautifully explained that you see the what are the dimensions of uh, bhagavad dharma that is uh, vistara vistara seva in the this city yes sir it has been explained so, 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 so it's very beautiful now so it's very clear so there is so much clarity in this thing mm. so when mm. we, we we introduce the term bhagavad dharma is what is what is the bhagavad dharma is the only thing we are not we say that the religions are psycho sentimental and the uh, bhagavad dharma is psycho spiritual religions are psycho sentimental whatever the religion sikhism buddhism and all these things. so they are psycho sentimental constructions there is also recently another word is called what are theories what are uh, what to call this um, so many theories and ideologies or whatever you call it they say that they are linguistic constructions linguistic that is the uh, they are buildings constructed with the bricks of the words the bricks the bricks of the words the words of a language are used as a bricks to construct a theory dada short please ha huh? okay so so let us go by this that we popularize more and more the bhagavad gita which is very clear which cannot be corrupted which cannot be what to call uh, misused by anybody because it is not they did not given the scope for them to discuss so we say that bhagavad dharma so we believe in bhagavad dharma okay. and uh, and religion we are not against religions we don't criticize religions but religions when they are against the cardinal human values only then we oppose them the practices which are against the cardinal human values we are against otherwise we treat religions as cultural manifestations cultural manifestations Thank you, Dada. We understood great. your point. Yes. Thank you, Dada. So, Madhushudan Dada, kindly. Madhushudan Dada. Madhushudan Dada. Yeah, thank you so much. Unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar, Dada. Um, <clears throat> this is a very interesting topic, but I'm reminding myself that this is a proud forum. Yes. And so, what is the relationship of Dharma to proud yeah and how does that affect the society and 
it's a very controversial topic because if you look around in society, there is a tendency in the world today for um, uh, religious-based national movements, which tend to be very divisive in the society and actually have been the cause of wars going on for millennia. Yeah. Proud is not that. Proud is not promoting another religious-based um, uh, social, social, uh, social, social structure. Rather, when we say that we're motivated by Dharma, Dharma is is the is the practice that we follow. We learn Dharma from and then the Marga. Proud is applied Dharma. That is, proud is not going to pro propagate Dharma in the society. Proud is to apply what we understand as Dharma in our social life. And in that way, we are uniting people. But if we're if we use if if under the under the name of proud, if we're promoting our spiritual practices that can be just as as divisive as other religions. So, my feeling is very much that in 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 society, uh, whether it's a political leaders or social leaders, people who are elected officials, they should be individually and as Baba says, sadhvipa should be motivated by dharma, but they don't necessarily have to promote that. That is. Um, proud is for people of all religions. And if we say that, well, you have to be an Anandamargi to be proudest, then we're sort of defeating our own purpose. We're undermining the universality of proudest universal. <laughs> yes. Dada, you are muted. You are, you are done with? Oh, yes, Madhana, Dada, yes, yes. Uh, I want okay. I want to say I want to say a few words. See, uh, in fact, uh, continuing with the trend and trainer of our Masudan Dada, that what I'm saying is, as far as the Bhagavad Dharma is concerned, it is uh, about uh, practice, like the spiritual practices, on one at one level. And it is uh, uh, what you call experiential. It is not about uh, theoretical constructions. It is about experience. Fe the feelings, experience, uh, the devotion, all these things are feelings. It is related to feelings, not to uh, verbs or uh, terms or uh, language. No. See, this is called psycho spiritual practices. And uh, what we understand through theory is that what is the practice that we have to do? So practice and experience, they are the summum bonum of spirituality or Bhagavad Gita. It is not about theory, theorizing things about it. So what he said is right. It is a social philosophy where we do a lot of theorizing, where the theory is required, yes. But there is no theory is not required for spirituality. What you require is practice. What you require is experience, the mystic experience or spirituality. Spirituality is a matter of experience, not about uh, justification in terms of uh, in terms of language or uh, see, that's why they say that the Sanskrit sloka is there where it says that the truth is one but the intellectuals interpret it in various comments they, they have a, there are so many people vadanti what do you call it? Or, uh, the truth is one but you know the commentators are many interpretation the interpretation the commentators are more Vadanti is there, no? Some other. Inter interpretation. So many commented. Ah, interpretation may be different. Sir, in several languages and several ways and several terminologies. So they are immaterial. So, but truth is one. In what language you try to express, in what way you express, it might be different. So, the truth, the, 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 the truth does not uh, have any, uh, what to call, refraction or any distraction from its originality or its the truth is never changing. Only thing is your commentary may change, but the truth does not change. That's the point. So when it comes to spirituality, psycho-spiritual thing, there is no necessity for logic. 
there is no necessity for saying that it is a uh, how to justify logical all those things no it is a matter of practice see your chakras are uh, uh, what do you call uh, hmm. elevated or uh, what do you call do the practicing shodh karte hain sab karte hain chakra shodh karte hain ye sab ke aur se practice hai aur ye practice ke wajah se aapko result kya milega experience milega ready dada ready dada yeah. i think you have, you need to uh, explain uh, the observations which mr madhusudan has raised bole that is i should no if you want to continue with that he he has raised certain objections on this forum mm. that why we are discussing dharma in the upif in the proud dada, farm dada yes. dada let us not, let us not go by language let us not go by words let us not go by labels the reality is something that we have to all understand i am not going to be bothered by labels I'm no no finally excuse me dada yeah. you just yeah. give your opinion in 2 minutes yeah. that's all we'll switch yeah. over to other yeah. okay so what i'm saying is spirituality is about experience and uh, neo humanism and social philosophy is about social life and all this where economic social economical cultural all these are involved and uh, as far as uh, this is uh, constructions this is uh, dogmas construction sentiments they are always going to be there geo sentiment social sentiment all these sentiments are going to be prevalent and also going to be present at any point of time because the human beings have the trend tendency uh, to become uh, what do you call uh, um, addicted to this kind of sentiments and we have to grow out of them that is different yes and what helps us in doing it is our practice spiritual practices and our experiential driving you rightly said by spiritual practice in true sense you can go out of this yeah bhagavad dharma is yes. bhagavad dharma is about practice and yes 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 99% it is practice right sir so i say thank you very much and i request govardhan ji to speak on subject if you want further yeah. to add <coughs> namaskar dada to... namaskar uh, namaskar dada first actually the for this question i want to answer dada why being a proud forum we are discussing about dharma and religion because yeah. actually proud as per its very definition it is socio economic political and cultural theory based on spirituality Fine. so when spirituality comes into picture obviously dharma also comes into picture that's yeah. why we are discussing dharma and uh-huh. dharma and religion they are different and let me say one thing here uh, uh during the life of, uh, during the life period of uh, karl marx the church was so dominant at in, and it was exploiting the people to such an extent that then he made one observation that is religion is the soul of soulless condition and heart of the heartless people and opium of the masses mm. because it was exploiting like anything any religion it uh, no for its uh, the for uh, the knowledge the source of knowledge are three types one is praksha pratyaksha pramana second is anumana pramana third is agama pramana agama pramana means scriptures so direct perception inference and scriptures these three are the source of knowledge uh, and in the religion since they say that majhab mein akal ka dakal nahi there is no place of rationality in the uh, religion so they easily resort to the violence if body if somebody goes against the scriptures mm. they simply say that it is blasphemous when galileo said that the earth moves around the sun then the church people become so you no know, angry and throughout his life he was kept in house arrest because he said that no 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 sun will not move around the earth rather earth moves around the sun he said which is a factual so that's why but dharma it no uh, through the psycho spiritual practice when you reach hiranyamaya kosha viveka and vairagya are the true natural outcomes they are the by products of following dharma sadhana so that's why viveka is very much an integral part of dharma but religion doesn't have any rationality so that's why dharma is totally different from religion and next is what is dharma this debate is going on right from the mahabharata age in mahabharata uh, when uh, this you uh, know gandharva or yaksha asked yaksha asked uh, the question what is dharma then yudhishthira replied that uh, replied that uh, smrutayo binas 
ಶ್ರುತೋ ಭಿನ್ನ ನಾಯಕ ಮುನಿರ್ಯಶ ಮತ ಭಿನ್ನ ಧರ್ಮಶ ತತ್ವ ನೀತ ಗುಹ ಮಹಾಜನೋ ಏನ ಗತ ಸಾಂತ ಮೀನ್ ಧರ್ಮಶ ತತ್ವ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಕೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮಹಾಜನೋ ಏನ ಗತ ಸಾಂತ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ರ್ಯಾದರ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಈವೆನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಆಚರಣ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಒನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಬ್ಲಾಸಮ್ಸ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಏ ದ ಫ್ಲೈಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಧರ್ಮಾಚರಣ ವಿಲ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ಸೊ ಧರ್ಮಾಚರಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ನೋ ವೀ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಧರ್ಮ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಸಿಂಪೋಸಿಯಂಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಪಗೇಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುರೇಂದರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ದಾದಾ ವಾಸ್ ನೋ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ no even no at the cost of your life you have to follow the dharma that is what shastra uh, say, uh, says yeah. shreyan swadharmo vignaha paradharmo bhayavah Sm- yes. swadharme nidanam kriyam paradharmo yeah. bhayavah yeah. yeah so so even at the cost of your life you have to follow the dharma that is yeah. what our shastra say so yeah. we should follow the dharma not the uh, religion dada thank you very That's much that's it dada thank, thank you thank you very much i request dilip dada dilip dada you had raised hand where you gone Acharya Dilip da are you hearing Yes sir yes. <coughs> in that i raised hand because uh, madhusudan dada raised a very fundamental issue that why we are discussing religion or yes. dharma dharma because he is talking in a world context where there are many religions are there and there are people they have their alliance to many religions so we cannot ignore as a protest uh, and we are talking uh, this subject only of indian in a indian context so i think that was the confusion which he had in fact i just thought of uh, saying that we have started using uh, 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 particularly this session we have discussing on the sanatan dharma uh, because of indian context because there are certain Uh, hindu sects in india they have started calling themselves that they are not hindus but they are sanatan dharmi they are the people of the sanatan dharma in fact uh, baba has also uh, said about sanatan dharma and bhagavad dharma and manav dharma in a different yeah. almost uh, as a synonymous uh, to dharma to dharma it, uh, this has been used these words have been used and uh, we find that uh, sanatan dharma which the hindu sects in india they have started calling themselves as sanatan uh, in fact it is the anand marg also it is sanatan dharma so the point was although they they are following many rituals uh, for which we, we don't agree with them and uh, we are opposed to it, uh, many rituals which they are following uh, in the hindu sect but still uh, when we are sanatan and they are also sanatan then how to uh, make people clear on this subject uh, that is why this topic was taken up in yeah, the no, in the inter- in the intellectual forum of proud uh, because it is also fundamental duty of the protest and uh, in, in particular the intellectual forums to make this clear to this uh, to the society uh, this is to address our own people as well as people outside right. so that was the reason that i thought of uh, and madhusudan da rightly said that proud is a applied dharma if you go in a broader sense he is right no proud is not a dharma i say applied dharma it uh, uh, is applied is a very different this, this, uh, right. but uh, but the application of proud yes. will facilitate people to come to the dharma yes yes because it's a fundamental it's a base basic right yeah. So thank you Gautam Pradhan ji you want to speak something Dada main ek cheez bolna cha raha tha abhi jaise ki dharma ke das lakshan bole chahe aap kuch kuch baatein aati hai jahan sab jagah boli jati hai ek chota sa cheez bolna cha raha hu jaise ki ek jagah bola jata hai bar bar ahimsa parmo dharma kya to yahi sikha gaya ahimsa parmo dharma ke baad ek line aur bhi hai jisko bolta hai dharma hinsa tatha hai bachcha dharma hinsa tatha hai bachcha is sentence ke bare mein nahi bola jata yeah ek chota cheez bolna chahunga jaise agar hum medicine le rahe hain 
तो मेडिसिन दे रहे हैं तो बहुत सारे बैक्टेरिया तो कुछ कुछ जीव जंतु खत्म होते हैं तो उस कंडीशन में क्या हिंसा नहीं हो रही है वहां हो रही है लेकिन हमको आत्मरक्षा के लिए जीवन रक्षा के लिए तो कुछ ना कुछ मेडिसिन लेना पड़ेगा इस कंडीशन में हमारे लिए जो परिभाषा क्या बनती है उस कॉन्टेक्स में बाबा ने जैसे बताया है जैसे क्षमा बाबा ने क्या दिया अगर क्षमा मनुष्य जीवन के धर्म के दस लक्षण में एक है तो बाबा ने क्लियर कर बताया क्षमा अरे भाई क्षमा का मतलब ये नहीं की क्षमा करना है व्यक्तिगत जीवन में क्षमा कर सकते हो सामूहिक जीवन में क्षमा नहीं करना है पवित्रता बोलते हैं लोग पवित्रता मतलब क्या है बुद्धि के द्वारा हमको देखना है की हमारे समाज में क्या हो रहा है क्या नहीं हो रहा है हम अपने समाज को बना सकते हैं की बचा सकते हैं हमारा दायित्व नहीं बनता है उस कॉन्टेक्ट में सोचने की जरूरत है ज्ञान है ज्ञान है तो क्या है ज्ञान है तो भैया साधना करनी चाहिए मानव जीवन योग के लिए प्रति जीवन भोग के लिए पर मनुष्य क्या साधना कर रहा है अगर नहीं कर रहा है तो इसलिए ज्ञान की जरूरत है कि आपके मनुष्य रूप में आए तो साधना करे उससे समाज का विकास हो तो इस इस अप्रोच से सोचने की जरूरत है कि धर्म के बाबा ने हर चीज को रिवाइव करके इसको बताया प्यूरिफाई करके बताया कि इसलिए आज इंटेलेक्चुअल फोरम में जैसे आप छोटा सी चीज बता रहा हूँ रीत रीत मतलब क्या एज इट इज स्पिरिचुअल चली मान लीजिए कोई गाय आ रही है सीधा गई गाय हमने बता दिया कि लेफ्ट साइड गई है वास्तव में लेफ्ट साइड गाय गई है तो कथा इसको मार देगा बोलना पड़ेगा राइट साइड गई है तो सत्य और रीत यहाँ पर सत्य को उस ढंग से बोलना पड़ेगा इसलिए यहाँ पर बुद्धि की जरूरत है इसलिए यहाँ पर धर्म को रिवाइव की काम की जरूरत है इसलिए सनातन सनातन धर्म जैसे बोले पहले भी तो काम कर रहे थे हिंदू थे चाहे मुस्लिम थे सिख थे चाहे ईसाई थे ये सब संस्कृति है कल्चर है पर जो सनातन धर्म है सेवा सेवा करते आ रहे थे विस्तार विस्तार होते आ रहा था धैर्य पहले भी था क्षमा आज पहले भी थी आज भी है अस्ते मतलब चोरी नहीं करना अब अस्ते मतलब चोरी नहीं करना तो परमात्मा को हरी क्यों बोलते हैं और मना चोरी करना चोरी करना मनता बहुत बुरी बात है अरे भाई भक्तों के जीवन में उत्तर पर उन्नति हो जिसलिए समाज का कल्याण हो इसलिए परमात्मा का दुष्णाम हरी है अब अस्ते में अस्ते बोल रहे हैं धर्म के लक्षण में से तो कहने का मतलब उस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से सोचने की जरूरत है इंटेलेक्चुअली रिडिफाइन करके सोचने की जरूरत है पूरा नया मोरल कॉलेज से सोच करके यस दादा बी रेडी टू बी रेडी टू एजुकेट द वर्ल्ड दैट इज योर जॉब यस करेक्ट ओके थैंक यू एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट मधुसूदन जी टू यू वांट टू टेस्ट हिज समथिंग थैंक यू दादा यस और फर्स्ट थिंग आई वांटेड टू जस्ट से आई डिडंट ऑब्जेक्ट टू द डिस्कशन ऑफ द टॉपिक आई जस्ट फेल्ट दैट इट शुड बी रिलेटेड मोर टू क्राउड दैट इज why the relationship between religion and dharma is important to prout which it is uh but i think we should be focusing on that also uh yeah. the other thing i want to tell a little story uh back in i believe it was 1980 when baba first gave samaj i was in india at the time and uh baba tasked us with creating uh a division of the world map into samajas and with our little knowledge uh, we we took this world map and we divided off all the samajas and submitted it to baba um and in baba's way you know he rejected most of the samajas that we submitted but one of the reasons that some of the samajas were rejected was because they were set up based on religious or racial um distinctions which may be common in those areas but baba said those should not be criteria for the um uh for the foundation of a smudge that is uh there should be something that's more general universal and can be uh acceptable to all the people within that socio economic unit um that's just one comment i want to make about the scar right sir thank you very much yes uh Surendra Dai you want to say something your hand is still raised Surendra Reddy ji I think Gautam Pradhan want to say something let him say No no he has he has said he has said Oh so so may am I audible Yeah yeah very much you are always audible <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm taking more time than necessary uh, so no, basically what I was uh, Again, may maybe is a repetition kind of stuff. What I'm trying to say. So don't repeat. If uh, something new, then speak, please. <laughs> okay. See, uh, the now I want what I wanted to make to notice here. Yeah. Basically, 
the up to 18th century onwards up to 18th century whatever cre- human creativity was there in crafts in literature in poetry whatever thing mm-hmm. somehow they were te- uh, they were uh, uh, related or uh, uh, became uh, identified with uh, religion mm-hmm. or uh, religious symbolisms or religious terminology or whatever it is because in those days they anything they wanted to have a permanent value in society then they wanted it to be linked to this their religious kind of background religious thing for example temples are there old temple everywhere church everything see so what i'm saying is that these things are need not be considered as so so what call a religion but they should be considered as civilization and culture our temples are our culture our churches are our culture our mosques are our culture see they are cultural uh, Uh, you see great craftsmen like uh, what do you call them leonardo da vinci uh, see you see there are many intellectuals especially in the uh, western world like europe see europe uh, became gave us a lot of rationalism uh, architecture engineering so many things are there so every there are contributions but unless there the contributions were some some uh, associated with religion not necessarily Science, even science became associated with religion. No, it's not true. See, what I am trying to say is that we are not against rituals. We are not against culture. We are not against all those, those sentiments related to the geo and social sentiments. We are not against them. This should not be criticized also. Baba said, those who criticize other religions are not on the market. He has disowned them. He has disowned people who criticize other religions. He said they are not on money. So what is that? Is he? But he said at the same time. But if there are any practices which are against the cardinal human values, they should be opposed. They should be rejected. So yes. in any way, see wherever there may be so many irrational things in the world. So many what do you call a uh, dogmatic uh, uh, dogma kind of things are there. But the dogma sort of will always be there in the world. Dogmas will have, have been there. Uh, they are going there, and future also there will be dogmas. Yeah, we Because understood what he was trying to say. Yes. Uh, yeah. So irrational. It is nothing to do with that. See, the basic thing is that we love all cultures, and also one of the statements is the most beautiful thing about a place is its culture. You go to Philippines, that every place has got its own culture, and we love it. Yeah, the most beautiful thing about Nepal is you go to Manipur. You go to let us say uh, Nagaland, or let us say you go to some uh, Simla or somewhere, Himachal Pradesh or somewhere, and definitely we love their culture because the most beautiful thing thing about the Himachal Pradesh is the Himachal Pradesh culture. Surendra Dada, you love because you are a spiritualist. That is what we want. Everyone to become <laughs> no, spiritualist. We love everyone. Let okay. us not confuse culture with religion. Yeah, that I, no. that I, we understood your mind. Let us allow others, please. Thank you, Anubuti Didi. Please speak on that. And Sujay Didi, please prepare to talk something on this. Yes, Anubuti Didi, please unmute yourself. Didi Anubuti, your hand is raised. Are you hearing me? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dada, I think uh, like discussing what is dharma and what is not dharma is like what's the purpose of discussing this thing because we are anamari. Okay, mar- purpose is explained by Acharya Ji because today you know in this atmosphere you might have gone through everybody is saying that I mean without understanding what Sanatana is, so this is in not self to educate the people. That is what the purpose was. Now you continue, please. But Dada here, uh, we are all Anand Margis here, and like, we understand what is dharma. Where are we educating the other people then? Sure, at not, least we. we... <laughs> there are not okay. even inputs of Anand Marga. So if if this is a question, then answer is first. Let us stand on one platform so that what a challenge is again repeating. I am. Sir, I mean, how to go? Just now you uh, talk on the topic how to educate the masses so that they understand. that what is sanatan you speak on that that line please 
so that the i like my, my i don't have any point i agree to everybody mm-hmm. but my thing is ki at least our youth should be here in such topics we see mm-hmm. very less representation of young people it's only the same repetition of same people coming every time but not even children from our homes join these sessions so firstly things have to be taught at our home then we go outside and then teach people very good point i understand your uh, feelings that's true yes pranav ji if you want to say something ha no, dada मैं कुछ ऐड करना चाहता हूँ yes, बोलिए बाबा बोले हैं कि भागवत धर्म भागवत धर्म को एक्सप्लेन करते हुए बाबा बोल रहे हैं कि भागवत धर्म विच इज इन टेंडेंसी इन टेंडेंसी व्हिच लीड्स ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टूअर्ड सुप्रीम एंटिटी इज भागवत धर्म बाबा लव एंड अट्रैक्शन फॉर द सुप्रीम एंटिटी इज भागवत धर्म और बाबा आगे फिर बोल रहे हैं टू प्रैक्टिस स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज भागवत धर्म और और भी आगे बोल रहे हैं कि अगर एक योर वॉइस इज गान योर वाई फाई इज वीक दादा इफ यू कैन स्विच ऑफ योर वीडियो देन प्रोबेबली वी कैन हियर यू दादा दादा एम आई ऑडिबल यस ऑडिबल नाउ यू बट अर्लियर यू वर नॉट ऑडिबल इफ यू कैन स्विच ऑन योर स्विच ऑफ योर a uh, video then probably wi fi will work yes ha dada jo main kuch bola wo wo audible tha to nahi shuru mein audible tha beech mein gayab tha acha ha baba bol rahe hain ki in a tendency in a tendency which leads human being towards supreme entity is bhagavad dharma mm mm-hmm. and love and attraction for supreme entity is bhagavad dharma बाबा बोल रहे हैं आगे कि टू प्रैक्टिस स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज भगवत धर्म और आगे फिर समझाते हुए बोल रहे हैं अगर एक चोर का चोर का भी अगर भगवान के प्रति अट्रैक्शन है तो उसको माना जाएगा कि वो धर्म फॉलो कर रहा है धार्मिक मनुष्य है भागवत धर्म फॉलो कर अगर सो कल हाँ और सो कल बहुत वर्चुअल सीमेन बिंग भी हो बहुत ही नॉलेजेबल भी हो लेकिन सुप्रीम गॉड के प्रति उसका अट्रैक्शन ना हो भगवान के प्रति अट्रैक्शन ना हो तो उसको बोलेंगे कि वो मनुष्य नहीं है मतलब वो मतलब ह्यूमन फॉर्म में फॉर्म में वो एनिमल है हाँ हाँ ठीक समझ गया ये सब बातें बाबा बोले तो ये भागवत धन जो अगर कोई मनुष्य फॉलो नहीं करता है उसके अट्रैक्शन नहीं है भगवान के प्रति तो पशु से भी गए गुजरा है हाँ इट इज योर डिफिनेशन एंड आई मीन इट हैज बीन टोल्ड बट इन पब्लिक यू कैनोट टेल लाइक दिस ंगस्टर <laughs> 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 then so it was right concern you rightly said uh, dharma is something inherent that is yes. innate innate characteristic mm-hmm. natural propensity is dharma <laughs> but it should be taught no it should be taught yeah. people because yeah. people are fed in such a way that is otherwise you rightly said even krishna says the sarva dharman parityajya maam ekam saranam bhajan the maha papi se papi bhi mere saran mein aa jayega to main usko mukti moksh de dunga ye nahi bolta hai ki wo dharmik hai but even if he comes to the shelter बाबा इज सेइंग दैट बृहद ऐषणा प्राणी धानम च धर्म मतलब बृहद को पाने की जो ऐषणा है है ना इच्छा है और ऐषणा का मतलब होता है इच्छा के साथ उस उस तरफ चलना भी हाथ पैर से दैट इज व्हाट इज प्रैक्टिकल मेनी पीपल टोल्ड दैट स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज अ प्रैक्टिकल साइंस एंड यू नो दैट इज अ तंत्र इज 99% प्रैक्टिस एंड 1% थ्योरी और फिलॉसफी यू कैन से दैट यस सुरेंद्र जी वांट टू से समथिंग दैट आई वांटेड टू कंटिन्यू यस दीदी यस प्लीज pranav bhai if you are saying like it's something innate i agree to it hmm. but uh, for its survival and its maintenance it requires the right environment also yes it's not easy for one person to maintain the dharma without the conducive environment yes yes that is why madhusudan ji told that it is an applied prauti is an applied dharma <laughs> so unless prauti is established you rightly said many people have heard that bhukhe bhajan na hoy gopala bali baat hai 
so unless and not only this food unless the atmosphere is there you rightly said may not people follow dharma even people know i mean i must say that many people know what is dharma and what we are doing some dogmatic things but still for the sake of others they do it and slowly they are not daring to go against the society you rightly said for that you need atmosphere that is because there is okay. a fear of rejection and yeah yeah you are right you are right you need but atmosphere but everyone to come out of that thing and matlab when needs the right kind of environment for sustenance because we see like in many good families of anand marga Mm-hmm. children are not following even my brother doesn't follow mm-hmm. so it's the environment that is more compelling to the person mm-hmm. not just the innate characteristic of the person right so, so uh, dada dada yes. can i come in yes you can come last one ha <laughs> uh, the the historical context of the importance of this debate today is yeah this. see we are now living in a ideal uh, time of ideological vacuum Mm-hmm. बोलते हैं इसको सैद्धांतिक शून्यता वैक्यूम इज देर आइडियोलॉजिकल हिंदी तो ये शून्यता के वजह से क्या हो गया पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड ब्रॉट इन आज ऑलरेडी पॉइंट आउट बाई वन और मसवन दादा के नेशनलिज्म एंड नाउ अडॉप्टिंग रिलीजन सी नेशनलिज्म रिलीजन एंड कैपिटलिज्म दिस हैज बिकम एन एक्सप्लोजिव मिक्सचर टूडे not only in any in every in any country in one or two countries but globally also see uh, whether it is the most uh, developed country or the poorest poor country today all the countries are suffering from this uh, explosive cocktail of nationalism religion and capitalism so these uh, are the faces masks people are wearing for ex- conducting their exploitation in the psychological sphere in the economic sphere and also in the spiritual sphere so now here comes that is the reason why the time has come for us to debate or understand as to what is the true the inner uh, uh, what is the propensity or nature the tendency of human being and how that can be furthered there is natural practical uh human beings uh, uh growth potential gro- growth of his potential are blooming in all aspects in his life both physically mentally and spiritually so this particular focus on a level playing field because the another aspect of this uh, uh, explosive combination of nationalism religion and capitalism is that there is a tremendous amount of inequality today inequality that is a few people who can be bundled into a railway compartment so railway ek railway ka jo rehta na dabba rehta na dibba mein bitha sakte 70 people or so who own 90% of the wealth of the country wealth of the world or wealth of the uh, in the world today so there is inequality is rising and uh, exponentially every year and uh, you can see oxfam reports now why i am saying is that yes sir come to that why you are saying yeah because religion nationalism and uh, capitalism yeah. are the ma- they are the winds which are destroying the true bhagavad dharma Absolutely. they are uh, infusing all kinds of uh, what the religious uh, religiosity which yes. is not is they are part. fueling all religions absolutely they are fueling all religions Our religious fundamentalism yeah, yeah, is being fueled. Even let us say in America also, now the party that is want to challenge uh, there is being supported by supremacists. They call it. Uh, it's a kind of supremacy. They want to here see the Hindu supremacy. People are talking about Hindu supremacy in India. They are talking about Christian supremacists in, uh, in America. So like that in every country today. Let us go to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, you have got Buddhist extremists. The yeah. Buddhism, you know, the clergy. That is what Madhusudan Dada was saying that there has been yeah. enough bloodshed example, because take, of this. Take, take Pakistan. Pakistan is a home to a dozen uh, terrorist groups. And mm-hmm. take what you talk about Fine. Afghanistan. So even why yeah. even take Russia also? Even That's Russia a today, it's a combination of uh, all the three. that is the putin has combined capitalism or chronic capitalism church 
and uh, what you call uh, Russian nationalism, and he has made it an explosive mixture. Yeah, that's telling the uh, Third World War today. Yeah, we understood your point. Yes, that is what yes, is. That is the time. That is the reason why we have to now understand the yes. fundamentals of human uh, nature. Thank and you. And what should be the trajectory? Dada Gautam ji, you want to say something again? एक दो एग्जाम्पल के बारे में देखे बोलूंगा पहला सूर्यधन सूर्यधन को पता था कि धर्म क्या है लेकिन उसका पालन नहीं कर सकता और धर्म क्या है लेकिन उसको छोड़ नहीं सकता एक एग्जाम्पल दूसरा था कि अगर हम कृष्ण के इतिहास को देखेंगे मतलब फैमिली बैकग्राउंड के हिसाब से चाहे बाबा श्री श्यामंद मूर्ति जी के फैमिली बैकग्राउंड के हिसाब से भी देखेंगे तो उसमें क्लियर कट आपको उसका आंसर मिल जाएगा कि हमको प्रयास करना है हमारा काम है कि धर्म के लिए हमको प्रयास करते रहना है एक उर्दू में एक शेर है अगर उसको बोलूंगा उसमें उसका भाव छुपा है कि तुम अपने दिन में मदीने की आरजी रखना फिर उसका काम है तुम्हारे जज्बे की लाज रखना आपका काम है धर्म के रास्ते पर चलना बनाना कोई सीख रहा है नहीं सीख रहा है वो मैटर वेरी नहीं करता आप अपना काम करते जाइए काम करते जाइए मैं दूसरों को समझाते जाइए की वट इज धर्म हाँ समझाते जाइए मेरे कहने का मतलब दादा यहाँ पर यह की क्योंकि आपकी बात को हर कोई फॉलो करेगा जरूरी नहीं थैंक यू हमारा प्रयास यही रहे यही बनना चाहता था First, today we are purposely taken this Bhagavad Dharma, sorry, what you call Sanatan Dharma, because this is being misused. That is why we are using again and again Sanatan Dharma. It has been already made a statement and understood by all present people that human Dharma, Sanatan Dharma, uh, Adi Dharma, and Bhagavad Dharma are the same thing. Okay, I think here things are clear. So what I wanted to add one line at the end because time is up. But there was a question how this sanatan dharma influenced the other religions so you can say that yoga kind of thing again yoga when i am saying the yoga means sanjog kya sanjog yoga yuktyo jivatma parmatma na matlab the merger of unit consciousness into the cosmic consciousness and that is yoga and that ashtanga yoga path we call yoga so that way yoga is becoming very popular and even other religions are being influenced by this world over and some of the ways uh, which is sanatan dharma you can say and i must say that path of yoga is a sanatan dharma yoga and meditation practice that is sanatan dharma is known for its emphasis on yoga and meditation practices so the sanatan dharma satya sanatan parama padam to sanatan satya sanatan parama padam that is sanatan is a dharma and that is sanatan dharma that is unchanging with time place and person 